Hello and welcome to another episode here on the War of the Rebellion channel. Today we are going to start a new series where we are going to explore material I covered in my book Liberty and Slavery published by Alice U Press. In the series we are going to look at a number of individuals, migrants from Austria, Hungary, Poland, Germany and Ireland and how they experienced European revolutionary events, how they came to the United States and witnessed the war of the rebellion and in a few cases also what they did after the war of the rebellion. Schleiden was not in the United States anymore when Ulysses S. Grant's armies breached the defenses of the rebel forces in Richmond. He was already in Europe. The outbreak of the Dano-German War once more at issue being the Schleswig-Holstein question and in this case being triggered by questions over the succession to the thrones in Copenhagen and also in the duchies. This new conflict pitched the German states of Austria and Prussia against Denmark. As usual, there were negotiation attempts and Rudolf Schleiden was in London to observe those negotiations. He hoped that they would result in the independence of the duchies. He even met with Otto von Bismarck, the leader in Prussia, political leader in Prussia, to instill upon him the urgency of German unification but also of independence for the duchies of Schleswig and Holstein and to address misconceptions on the part of Bismarck when it came to the issue involved and his personal involvement during the 1848 uprising. Throughout this, Schleiden remained a vocal advocate to what he perceived as the legitimate prince of the duchies, the family of Augustenburg. Unfortunately, Bismarck had other plans for the duchies and they became a tool in bringing about German unification for him, ousting Austria in the fall of war in 1866. Schleiden obtained an elected office. In 1867 he was elected to the North German Bundestag and eventually the Reichstag upon the completion of German unification. He represented the Holstein port city of Altona, which is today a part of Hamburg. In that he always continued to defend the interests of Schleswig-Holstein, the legacies of the revolution. And when by the end of the 19th century a number of works appeared that challenged the legacies of 1848, Schleiden published his memoirs in which he eviscerated Prussia and its lack of consistent support for the duchies in the conflict in 1848. He was unreconciled to Prussia being the lead in the new Germany and especially his beloved duchies being integrated into that Prussian state now. Nevertheless, Schleiden never again 
after he lost the election in 1873, sought election again. He lived out his life as a private individual. But there was much that he did during his lifetime, going from the 1848 revolution to the North American Revolution and then being part of German unification. If these brief episodes sparked your interest about the individuals covered, please consider not only subscribing and liking this channel, commenting on this episode, but also looking into purchasing my book, Liberty and Slavery, published by LSU Press.